you forget things you read last week or even things you read last night, would you like to be able to read faster and remember more? You're about to find out how you can absorb information three times faster, almost instantly, and remember it for years. It's a new breakthrough technology that's proven faster than speed reading. If you want to fly through books, newspapers, magazines, even complicated technical and business information, if you want to improve your memory and concentration, if you want to make better grades and more money, grab a paper and pencil and get ready to take down some important information that could change your life. Important information about a new American breakthrough. Hello, I'm Matthew Gillen. You know, all my life I've been a slow reader. And if you're anything like me, you know exactly what I'm saying. When I read, I have to backtrack because I, I can't remember what I just read. I sound out the words in my head as I read them. Uh, I've got a stack of stuff on my desk to read that I just can't get to, and I'm always behind. So when I met my guest and saw how fast he reads, <laughs> well, I have to tell you, my jaw just dropped open. Pete Bissonette photo reads over 100,000 words a minute. He can mentally photograph a page as fast as he can turn it. And here's the best part. Ask him anything about what he just read, and he'll give it back to you chapter and verse. Pete is the president of Learning Strategies, a respected private school and publisher in Minnesota with hundreds and thousands of clients worldwide. Pete is one of the world's leading experts in super-fast photo reading, and he says anyone can absorb information three times faster, almost instantly, with this new technology that's faster than speed reading. He's appeared on hundreds of TV and radio shows across North America, and we're lucky to have him here today and blessed to boot. Pete, welcome to American Breakthroughs. Thank you, Matt. It's great to be here. Yeah, you know, I've seen your photo reading on national TV, and you've been clocked at incredible speed. Now, just how fast was it, Pete? Well, my fastest has been 693,000 words a minute. Okay, Pete. Now, 693,000 words a minute. You, it sounds absolutely impossible to me. Well, you know, that's equivalent to photo reading 10 books a minute. And this time, they flashed the U.S. patent laws to me on a computer screen at 33 pages a second. Then they gave me a test where I scored 75% comprehension. Then in a documentary on the Learning Channel, we had a half dozen folks photo reading off computer monitors at 700,000 plus words a minute. And this was filmed out at Cray Research, the inventors of the supercomputer. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. You know, what was amazing to me, too, is I saw a lot of other people doing it. Your students. And, I mean, they were, like, moving at the speed of light. Now, okay, is this something anyone can do? Or, I, I mean, is it a special gift, a, a high IQ? No, anybody can do it. Age is 13 to 113. And, Matt, if I can photo read at 693,000 words a minute, I can certainly teach anyone of average intelligence to get through reading materials three times faster than they can now. And with practice, you can get to the super fast speeds that I'm at, but everybody, everybody starts at three times faster. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone because we have a 96% success rate. Everybody can do it. Okay. Now, I asked the question before. I'm kind of asking it again. Is this a special ability, Pete, though? I mean, were, you were born with the ability. You were always a fast reader, correct? Well, I wasn't always a fast reader, but yes, I was born with the ability because everybody's born with the ability to photo read, but very few people know how to tap into it. My associate, Paul Sheely, has a unique ability to uncover processes of the human brain, and he studied people who could literally absorb the printed page, and he developed a program to teach everybody how to do it. And then years ago, he called me up and asked how I'd like to be able to go through books as fast as I could turn the pages. Well, I got so excited because I knew it was possible. I just didn't know how to do it. It was so easy to learn. Um, I immediately began photo reading five to ten books a day. It was remarkable. That was way back in 1985, and now it's, you know, 15 years later. We have hundreds of thousands of people all over the world photo reading in a dozen languages. This really is changing the way the world reads. Okay, so the point you were making is like swimming or riding a bicycle. Everyone can do it, but everyone needs to be shown how. Exactly. Okay. Okay, let's back up and talk about the way the world reads now. Uh, now, what's the difference between regular reading, speed reading, and photo reading? Well, regular reading is going one word at a time, rehearsing it and hoping that something sticks. Speed reading, well, this is about moving your eyeballs faster and faster and faster and faster, maybe taking in multiple words at a time, but it's usually stressful. Now, photo reading is about using your brain more efficiently, where you literally mentally photograph the printed pages as fast as you can turn the pages. Yeah, another way to look at it is like regular reading is like looking at a photograph 
of a building and being forced to look at every single brick, brick after brick after brick, and eventually figuring out it's a building, whereas photo reading is being able to look at the materials, figure out immediately it's a building, and then as you need it, go back to all the different details, all the different bricks. Okay, so, you, so you're taking mental pictures then of, of the whole page as opposed to one word at a time. That's right. Now, say I've been wanting to lose weight, and I pick up a book like uh, the Dr. Atkins' New Diet Revolution. Uh, this is an average book on the New York Times bestseller list. I, I don't know, 350 pages or so. I guess it would take me maybe 10 hours of straight reading to read that book. Now, how fast could I photo read that book? Well, first of all, I photo read that book in the bookstore sometime last year. It's been on the bestsellers list for a long time now. You read the book in the bookstore. Pete, did you buy the book? No. <laughs> you mean the book retailers of the world have a problem on their hands with photo oh, reading? No, no, no. They love me because I still buy dozens and dozens of books every year. I just really buy the books that I want to keep. But right there in the, in the book, sir, I photo read that book in less than five minutes. Now, you, Matt, as a beginning photo reader, you'll be able to photo read that book with full comprehension, not in 10 hours, which you say is going to take you to get through now, but in three hours, in one-third the time. And then with practice, you can get to my speeds. But right away, you're going to be able to get through any book three times faster than you can now. Okay. But again, though, now, this is not speed reading, right? Because uh, I mentioned before... I've always been a slow reader, and I've actually taken speed reading courses before, and I have to tell you, it, it really never did anything for me. I mean, th there, were, there were drills, there were repetitious exercises. I remember running my finger down the page, but not much else. And, and years later, you know, I'm still a slow reader. So, so what yeah. is that? Well, see, that's because speed reading is not a natural process. It's really not easy to do. Photo reading, on the other hand, is easy because it uses your brain differently. You use your whole brain, not just your left brain. You tap into that 90% part of the brain that Einstein says we don't use. You actually absorb the information right off the page. And this is the natural way that your brain works. It likes to work this way. Speed reading is exactly how your brain doesn't like to work. It's unnatural and very hard. Now, photo reading is super fast, and it works on all types of materials, from pleasure reading to business to technical reading. It's really the only way to keep up in today's information age. Now, you've appeared on hundreds of radio and TV shows, and it, mm -hmm. again, it really is a pleasure to have you here today. Now, I know that you've been tested on national TV lots of times, and I, I've seen you do some pretty amazing stuff. Well, you know, one host said that it was like interviewing the author of the book when he was um, talking to me about a book that he was <laughs> testing me on. <laughs> well, you know, th and that's really the beauty of photo reading, because we teach you how to get information out of a book in a very short period of time so that you know the book as an author knows the book. As a matter of fact, authors love photo reading because it makes their research easier. Novelists love photo reading because they can, they can photo read other novels in a matter of minutes, and somehow or another this gets their juices flowing and makes it easier to write. Mm -hmm. And you're saying anyone listening to us right now can do this? Absolutely. Three times faster, almost instantly. Now, if you can photo read a page as fast as you can turn it, tell me if I'm wrong, this would have to be a huge advantage to kids in school. Oh, yeah, every student should be photo reading now. I remember Brenda Lundy, she was one of our first students. She photo read a selection of books before writing a term paper, and the teacher wrote... A plus, Brenda, your writing style improved dramatically overnight. What did you do? Well, all she did was photo read all the books and somehow assimilated the collective writing style of those authors. Then there's Carol Reiner. She went back to college after 30 years and graduated with honors thanks to photo reading. And Kirk Peterson, he said photo reading turned studying from a chore to a pastime. These are students of the photo reading program. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you develop this ability and it takes a tremendous amount of practice, correct? Well, if you want to go to 100,000 words per minute like me, yes, you've got to practice it. But if you want to go through books three times faster than you can right now, no, there's no practice. That's how fast you start. It's a simple, but it's an awesome process. As a matter of fact, you'll photo read your first book within an hour of starting the course. It's that easy. And the confidence you get will change your life immeasurably. How about age-wise, Pete? What age can a child begin to utilize your photo reading program? Well, you know, age is 13 and above, but it's really not about age. It's about being willing to try something different. You know, you've heard it said that the brain is more powerful than the most powerful computer on Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, you ought to be able to read faster than 212 words a minute, which is what the average American reads. And the good news is you can when you learn the remarkable photo reading whole mind system.